Soft porn publisher David Sullivan has sunk a few million pounds of his vast fortune into the other love of his life, football. He's traded in his blue movies for a blue strip in the form of Birmingham City Football Club. Um, you've had a very colourful career. You had a soft porn business and then you went into newspapers. Why the move into football? Uh, I've always loved football really and um, I was an avid football fan all, all in all my youth and for about five years I looked to buy a club and I looked at Watford, looked at Bradford uh, and several other clubs and uh, we ended up at Birmingham. What, what convinced you to go for Birmingham? Uh, because Birmingham potentially is a very big club uh, I remember that they had 28,000 when they played Stoke in the old third division or Division 2 as it is now and I thought any club that gets 28,000 in Division 2 is a, is a club that deserves better. Mm -hmm. I mean there's, there's a lot of changes here, I mean these seats are fantastic, they're fairly plush aren't they? They're not bad <laughs> and uh, the, perhaps the start of better things to come. I think football will go up market or sections will. I also support the uh, the move of Man United to bring back Terrace in. Mm -hmm. So I think you've got to cater for fans anything from £50 a seat down to sort of and bring back the £7 or £8 standing. Yeah, uh, I mean that's been a big criticism amongst fans hasn't it, that no, they really I, can't afford I, to go I think, I think, well we, we do £5 games here but then when we do that the season ticket is moaned so it's very difficult to just strike an equilibrium between what the season ticket holders want. I mean today we'll have 15500 I would have preferred to cut the price to £5 and um, had a full house. Uh, the trading standards won't let us do that. Um, do you ever see that the terrace is coming back? Or not? Yeah, I do. I, th I think very, very much. I think perhaps behind a goal. Um, you see, you take an area like behind our goal there, so say there's 3,000 seats, you could put 5,000 terrace in, standing in, and you cut your price by 40%, and, and you've, got, you've got more supporters and the same income. So I think it's good for everybody. I think they very much will come back. And, I mean, Hills was caused by the fences. Without the fences, you wouldn't have had any trouble. So I think there's a very good chance um, standing will come back. Obviously we need a change of the rules, mm -hmm. but we'd, we're going to build a new stand over there um, in about three or four years' time, and I'd love to think perhaps the bottom tier mm -hmm. would be standing. Do you see yourself in the Premiership perhaps next season? No, I think we're three to one shot you know, for promotion. I think realistically that's, a, that's the correct odds. Um, but if you're three to one every year, one year you'll do it. Mm -hmm. um, you just need one player to hit form, to play above himself, to find form he's not found before. Uh, you, you need a bit of luck in key games. It could happen, uh, but we'll see. I think we're three Time to one. Tell. No, but I'm, I'm realistic. I think we're three to one. You know, yeah. I, I mean, I wouldn't think anybody's a certainty to be in Premiership. I mean, at this moment in time, Notts Forest and Middlesbrough look good things, but there's 38 games to go. We got 38 games to go. They got 35 and 36 games to go. It's an awful long way to go. Now, David, you've run newspapers for a long time. What do you prefer, being the owner of a football club or? I think football's side? a lot more fun. Football's a lot more fun. Um, it's also very, very competitive because if you look at Division One, I've never seen a more competitive Division One. There used to be a lot of soft games in our division. When we when we arrived, we had a very, very poor side. Yet we still got points. We still got wins. We got draws. Uh, with the side we had five years ago. I really couldn't see us getting much at the moment. Um, so, the, you know, with the Man City, QPR, Sheffield United, Millsborough, Notts Forest, uh, and so on and so forth, it's a very, very tough division. You know, uh, um, I'd much prefer to see Southampton relegated. We, we, we'd fancy our chances more against them than Notts Forest or Sheffield United, or Middlesbrough or Sunderland, or, you know, go on and on and on. Win, lose or draw, we put the club on a sound financial footing. We're not overdrawn, we've got money in the bank. We've got the money to build a new stand. We're a publicly quoted company. Uh, we've got uh, the, the best average gates for five, six, ten seasons. You, you know. see yourself 
buying another club at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always said one day I'll probably end up at Cardiff, which is my hometown, um, or, or maybe in a London club because there's less travelling. <laughs> and say. so it's, it's a combination of travelling and, and where your roots are. Mm -hmm. But, you know, until we get Birmingham into the Premier League, and really Birmingham have never finished higher than sixth in the old Division One. Uh, until we achieve more than they've ever achieved in 125 years, I wouldn't want to move on because I feel I've let the supporters down. But if we left the club in a strong financial position, we took them perhaps into Europe, mm -hmm. maybe then, for me, my, I think my partners would probably stay on, but uh, I'd probably welcome another challenge and go and do it for Cardiff, take them out of Division 3.